Welcome to 5MinuteTutorials.com. This tuto tutorial is being recorded in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and should work in all previous CS versions of Photoshop. What we're going to be working today with is uh, loading custom brushes and creating a custom brush set inside of Photoshop. You want to make sure that you have your brush tool selected be on the keyboard and then go ahead and click F5 or go to Window and then Brushes. That opens up the brush preset in a previous tutorial we covered how to actually create a custom preset uh, through use of these settings here. Inside of the brush presets, I'll drag this out so it's easier to see, we've got all of our presets. Every time you create a new brush it actually ends up at the bottom here. I often name my brushes and you can see it in the pop-up, it's called Sketch, but you can also view it, uh, your brushes, by text only. So this is the options, pal uh, options for this particular palette. It's going to be found on every palette inside of Photoshop and when you click on it you got a lot of options available there. Please note you do have a, a whole array of different brushes that you can load right there. Switching to text only allows you to see now every time that you have uh, or whatever it is the name of your brush happened to be. In this case what we're going to be doing is using the preset manager that opens up a separate window and these are all the presets here and what I'd like to do is add a whole new set of uh, brushes. In this case I'm going to click is do is click load and then go to my desktop where I have my um, pencil brushes here and I just click load. Okay. Now what that did is that loaded across the bottom here a, a whole new set of brushes and then I can just click done. Now I can scroll down through and you'll be able to see that they've got some chalk and some pencil brushes available uh, to use now. Now that's how you actually add those so that you can use them. If you do need to export out or if you've got your own custom brushes that you've pre-made, same thing, go to Preset Manager and in this case you'd go through and just uh, select out all the brushes that you wanted. For example, I'll take all of them and I'm going to click Save Set. In this case I can give it a name, I'll call it My Brushes and then I'm going to save this set here and it creates a, a .abr file and I can click Done. Now on my desktop, you'll notice that uh, I have now a My Brushes uh, presets. Well, this has been another tutorial brought to you by 5MinuteTutorials.com. Hopefully you found this helpful in working with brushes and brush presets and the preset manager inside of Adobe Photoshop. Once again, if you enjoy what you see, we would appreciate it if you would share this tutorial.